Hello everyone, my heart to your heart, love and peace, we are one. Today my topic is enlightenment. I had someone ask me, what is it? When I'm going to get enlightened, I pray, I do everything. Uh, how am I supposed to have an experience? So all I can share with you, what on my travel on this planet, what I have uh, experienced, and my views on it. For me, you know, I have gone through all pilgrimages trying to find the Lord. I have gone from here to Mecca, to the mosque, to the synagogue, to the temple. At the end, I came to being, my Lord is right here. Where am I finding Him? But what is enlightenment? See, we have essence. I talked about it, you watch that video. And we have ego. See, when we do yoga, especially Raj Yoga was actually, was very spiritual living, living with integrity, honesty, uh, practicing every day, um, disconnection for the universe. This was all part of the simple living. Okay. Then you go to mosque, you have five times a day prayer, you have fasting 30 days, all the you can do all you want to. Enlightenment is not coming. Because it all becomes like exercise. Do you understand? Exercise. So how do I know I'm enlightened? Enlightenment is something when I am present in the moment and I have absolutely looking at it, I know what to do. I'm looking at it, I'm making a decision without any conflict. Every time there's a conflict within me, there's a tremendous amount of energy that I'm wasting. And we all have done that. Tremendous amount of energy. So in order to preserve my energy, I need to stay focused on one thing, looking at the outer picture. Let's say you have a cell phone. You're looking at a cell phone, the frame of the cell phone. Keep looking at it and keep staring. It's the frame of the cell phone. As soon as you tell, you turn the cell phone on, you're not looking at the frame, you're looking at the picture, you're looking at the video, you're looking at the news, whatever you're watching, but the frame goes away. So I think enlightenment is when I'm focused on the present moment. I'm, I'm there, actually there and watching what I'm doing. Like for example, right at the present moment, I'm communicating, I'm expressing what is enlightened means to me. It's a whole total of being in the moment. And it can only be in a moment. The next moment, we can be not enlightened. So you can say, I'm enlightened. So I'm enlightened for the rest of my life. It doesn't happen to me. So I think when there is no conflict and I keep watching the frame of this phone and I'm very aware the frame I'm very aware of the environment, what's going on here. Without any conflict, I'm communicating with you. I mean like, in a way, really. So every time there is a conflict between me and my, my me is the essence and my negative ego, there's a tremendous amount of energy I'm wasting. So how about I just sit there 
and let it be without judging, without any conflict. Like for example, I want you to analyze depression. What, what is depression? So instead of, oh, I don't want to be depressed, why don't we sit in silence? This is what I did. I sat in silence in analyzing a subject, depression. Start looking at the depression. What happened to people who are depressed? Nobody wants to be around you when you're depressed. Right? For a short time, okay. Then everybody, oh my goodness, I don't want to go there. She's always complaining. She's always, or he's always complaining. He's always depressed. They don't want to be around. And the whole list of things is a psychological, emotional death. So just say I'm sitting there and analyzing all of this depression, what's going to happen without judging without telling myself, okay, I want to be here. I want to be, I want to go there. I don't want depression, you see? When I start analyzing a subject in my utter silence and I'm breathing, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, keep breathing. It helped me to look into it without any conflict. When I say non-violence, I have to analyze what is a violence means to me and analyze, just look at it, what happens to the violence then you don't have to worry about it because you're already going to become non-violent. Do you see what I'm saying? I want you to listen to me again. What I did, I analyzed one subject in my utter silence. Without judging, without making judgment, without having preconditioning of what I was told by the religious leaders, or by a book, or by a person, or by my family members, just looking, and looking, and analyzing, and just being present, and seeing what happens to these people who have depression. The whole thing that takes place. Once I understand that, then I know. already naturally enlightened in that moment remember the moment is a total lifespan and we can only be enlightened in the moment it will did not happen to first thing I tell you something I have not read any religious book in my life I'm not a TV person I don't go on the YouTube let me google this person see I don't do all that there's no time I must find my enlightenment within me because my essence and your essence is identical. To spend more time on me helped me to be very calm naturally, to be very content naturally. See, I'm the kind of person people look at me, oh, she's a high fashion mama. See, but doesn't mean all of these has no meaning. I've always been groomed, even I was a little girl. My nails were always painted, you know. I never walked barefooted. I will always have my socks and shoes on. Things I have done as a little kid. So I know it's my purpose to have this. If you take all my fashion away and, and wrap me up in a plain old cotton clothing. Is that me? I become someone else. You see, I don't need to do that. So enlightenment will come to any human without trying to be, without trying to have an experience, without trying to do anything. Just stay in silence and look at one subject at a time. That's what I did. One subject at a time. It helped me understand life a little better. It made, it made me uh, 
become very conscious of the moment and the value, the real value of the moment. See, if even people are crazy, I turn around and give them my love sticker. Because it's hard to understand someone like me. She's glamorous, she's this, she's this, she's this. What is that? Why aren't she has that, that guru profile? I'm not a guru. I'm living my life just like you're living your life. Do you understand? Me and you living a common life. I don't have a guru. I don't have all of this. I do have a sheep guru. Okay. Because I practice qigong. I practice meditation. So I belong to a sheep guru. But I have to be very aware of every moment. And it will not come unless I stay silent. So keep breathing. That's a first step. And the enlightenment is in the moment when we really understand. So my heart to your heart, love and peace. We are one.